can we have a conversation? Can we have a conversation, a real conversation, about Draymond Green and Clutch Sports, his affiliation with Clutch Sports, and why he's averaging a 6.8 single digit stat line all across the board? 6.8 points, 6.8 assists, 6.8 rebounds. When it's opportunity is there for you, can we talk about why he's throwing the ball away? Can we talk about how he's leading this playoffs and fouls? And especially this playoff route, it falls. He's always in foul trouble. He don't make dudes, you don't make anti days, anti days LeBron James and Draymond Green all part of clutch sports. Steph Curry not part of clutch sports. Clay Thompson not part of clutch sports. So, who do you think his, his affiliation lies with? He's playing like ass. And Draymond Green is playing ass a lot, but he's playing like pure do ass. When I say Purdue ass, I mean Purdue ass. I mean, when you have six foot two, six foot two, Dennis Trudeau, I think he's six one, maybe six foot. I think Dennis maybe six one or six foot. I think he's six one. Maybe let's say six one. When you got him on you and you down three and you got time on the clock, you don't go up and shoot the layup and you pass the ball out and throw it away. It give people every indication that your affiliation with Clutch Sport is to get the, the Lakers into the finals. Every it's not a conspiracy theory. This is this is documented. It's his best friend. He said he was gonna miss a Warrior game just to see LeBron James break career and do with your ball record. This is document. This this, this is come out of his mouth. This come out of his mouth. When you have 6.8 points, 6.8 assists, 6.8 rebounds. In a series where you have plenty of opportunity to score, when they triple team and double team and stuff, you're not being aggressive, looking for your shot, and then you turn that ball over and you're in foul trouble. And you don't attack LeBron James. You don't attack anything there. You don't try to put your head on and get him in foul trouble. You lead people the speculation like, oh yeah, his affiliate with Clutch Sport is, is, is better than with the Warriors. Because we know how you feel about the Warriors, that he's going to be out the door very soon with the Warriors. So it's giving everybody indications that his next move is to. Well, he might be a Laker. He probably be a Laker next year, right? Because Golden State not resigning him, and you can't explain to me like what is he thinking when, when, he, when he goes up and uh he has Dennis shoot on him. Somebody that's smart that say he's supposed to be a Hall of Famer that say he's people that say the Golden State Warriors is a, the, the the best team ever assembled, a seven three nine win team was the, one of the, the greatest teams ever. That's why the Bruins ever came to go. They have one guy that can break you off the dribble. For the until they had got Kevin Durant, was only one guy on eighteen, and that was Stephen Curry. And we exchanged it last night. Jordan Poole was worried about ice spice too much. His affiliation, his love for ice spice, he's like, eh, he should have been the second ball handler on his Warrior team that it helps Steph Curry when they trap him. All they gotta do is penetrate the defense, suck Anthony Davis' ass in, put him in pick and roll, move him from the paint. Y'all can drive when y'all got the lane with AD not there, and then kick it off to shoot. And Clay Thompson has been awful too. His leg injury ain't got nothing to do with how poorly he shoots. He's just taking some bad shot selection. And I'm not getting mad at Steph Curry for taking them last two jump shots because he played the whole fourth quarter. Legs hurt. When, when you got when you got to grab ten rebounds, fourteen, you got to get fourteen. He's over thirty points. People don't understand that you get you got to you got to guard uh, uh, Lawaka Le and Shooter and Nelson Reed. You got to guard these guards because these guards attacking them. And you got to put up the points and you got to assist and you got to rebound. Now you got to fucking play defense and then when the, the sign of somebody ties when they, they jump shot short. It's just short, right? So that's Steph Curry's issue. If he had people along the way that don't got to do all the carry the load that Steph Curry do, they can just make wide open shots. Andrew Wiggins, who's turning to Harrison Barnes of this series. If he had a Harrison Barnes on it, they're making, if he had a, uh, not Harrison Barnes, if he had a Andrew Wiggins who making shots and not resorting to be a Harrison Barnes in 2016, if, I, 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 for the life of me, I don't know how professional athletes cannot make those shots. I'm, I don't know how many times I watch LeBron James' team. There are guys that, all star caliber guys, have game that can shoot the ball, not make shots. I I just like from James Harden when he when they beat the Thunder, from the 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 uh, 1039 Warriors when they had Harrison Barnes, and to now Andrew Wiggins they play LeBron. They they find a way. The team the LeBron James it ain't LeBron James team because they they make shots against everything. Is the pressure, or is it just rig? Is it just rig, ladies and gentlemen? Because I'm trying to figure out why every time capable guys that making shots that are been all stars. And, and James Harden plays come Hall of, uh, is a Hall of Famer, top 75 already. 
Andrew Wiggins an all-star last year, and Harrison Bones is a nice piece. When they get played against LeBron James, they can't make shots. They just let, let leaves open. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying no conspiracy. I'm just telling. I don't know why that's the case. I just don't understand. When it comes to playing against LeBron James team, and ain't not playing defense. It's just like giving you the shot. Hey, you take this. You take this. Step. You're not taking this. We're going to run clear the three-point line. We're going to run. We're going to trap you. And you guys are wild open. I just don't understand it for the basketball life of me. When these guys just nut up when they play against the LeBron James team. And LeBron James is one of the worst defenders in this playoffs. One of the worst. He get break down dribble all the time. Put him in more actions. I, I mean, I mean, Draymond Green took the cake for me, though. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't understand how bad his play is. His play is bad. And it ain't even funny, y'all. It ain't even funny. It ain't even funny. But German Green told told us before who he, who was his uh, affiliation lie with and who he made money with. He's got not competitive. He made too much money off the court with LeBron James and clutch sports to uh, ever try to compete against him, stopping LeBron James' narrative. 38 years old, LeBron's to the final. And no, we know LeBron James has been ass. Let's not even talk about how bad LeBron James has been in this playoffs. Nine games, none 30, shooting 47% from the field, 22% from three, averaging 22 points. Quiet to kill this one, LeBron James' worst playoff runs ever. Why his team is actually winning in a spite of him. Yeah, in spite of him, I said it. Anyway, tell me what I got to think. Like, subscribe to this video. I'm out.